Call me Dory. Uh, roll call Mindy. Misty Sutherland. Yes. Pam Bielka. Yes. David Fuller. Yeah. Brandy Brown. Here. James Weeks. Here. Yeah. I have number three. Flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Number four. I to approve or not approve the minutes from the regular board meeting, January 11th, 2021. from the special board meeting, January 26, 2021. I'll make the motion we approve. I'll second vote. All in favor, Misty Sutherland? Yes. Pam Milko? Yes. David Fuller? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item uh, number six, discussion of possible action on the encumbrances and financial reports for the 2020-2021 school years. <coughs> CDI and a balance LLC, twenty-one thousand. That is the rest of those Chromebooks. The Chromebooks, mm -hmm. gotcha. Yes. That's, right. That's the other ones I believe we have to. Gotcha. Unless we thought was the first COVID stimulus. First one. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I'll make the motion that we accept the encumbrances and financial report for the 2020-2021 school year. Second. All in favor, Mr. Sutherland? Yes. Dan Bielka? Yes. David Foley? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. James Weed? Yes. Item number seven, vote to approve or not approve fundraiser requests for the 2020-2021 school year. Fundraisers or repeats that they've done in the past. Mm -hmm. The only one that's, I believe, a new one would be the first one, the fifth grade one. The rest of them are repeats. Do we have a problem last year? Mm -hmm. No. The school didn't have it. No, yeah. didn't have They had a little private one, but the mm -hmm. school didn't have it. Do you think we're going to have one this year? We're going to try are they planning on doing most of this stuff outside, underneath, like, you know, between the school, like, kind of where we used to eat out? Oh, you guys still think about the... the yes, that's, that, like, that, 
they are planning it right now. So um, it, we are going to try to have it outside. And even like maybe food trucks and stuff for the everybody food trucks and uh, I know they have priced a tent. So, you know, even though if it rains, we would still be able to go inside and have it. Okay. So, uh, we are going to do our best to have a problem this year. Yeah. You know, some the space eaters, some of the big out True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. It would be gold. Extension of the superintendent's contract from July 1st, 2021 through June 30th, 2024. I'll make that motion. I'll, 
I'll second. <laughs> All in favor, Misty Sullivan? Yes. Uh, Kim Bielka? Yes. David Bowles? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. Sam Sullivan? Yes. <laughs> Item number 11, vote to approve or not approve the surplus of old school buses. See list attached. Um, the only thing um, on the school buses that we have to make note is that um, we can't sell them to a board member or anyone to the second degree of relation. Um, any other staff can purchase a, one of these buses if, you, if they want. And we're going to do bids and we're going to have, have them out for people to come look at them. And uh, these are our old buses that were, um, some, of, some of them we can't get started and some of them we can't. <laughs> but we're, going to, we're not going to sink any money into them, we're just going to sell them as is. There you go. And see how, we, how that goes. But what are they running, do you know? Um, On average. It's not going to be a whole lot. Uh, I know my, my personal history, I know that one time I bought a bus at another school, I was at another school, we paid $800 for it, but it ran and it was a pretty decent bus. Some of ours are just, I don't know. We set to people with a couple of fair market values and give them away. Yeah. Uh, we can always reject a bid if we think it's too low. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, the ones that cost more to pay running than it would be a little bit more about the bus. I wonder what the uh, salvage price on the one is now. You know, and honestly, someone was probably what's going to happen to a lot of them. Someone yeah. picked up and scrap them. Yeah. I don't want somebody to bid a dollar. No, we won't. Mm -hmm. We don't. We can always reject bids. You can, yeah. yeah, you can reject. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I seen the guy across the street from my building in Oregon. He used to uh, take all those old ones, but then he would crush them. And, mm -hmm. uh, a car to get five hundred dollars. I don't know what a, a school bus would bring. Yeah, yeah. I guess probably thousand yeah. at least. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah, I think they're running about a hundred and a half now on mm -hmm. regular car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that much. Yeah. <coughs> Finally, went out of business. <laughs> 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 but when we sell them, we don't have to pay insurance any longer. And that's right. Uh -huh. They're right. just sitting there because we have all the buses. So. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't yeah. like the motion that we approve the surplus of the old school buses. But we got to say that uh, it can't be a board member and it can't be. Okay, and, and uh, with the exception, no board members or. Relation to second degree. Yeah, relaxed relation to second degree. Second degree. I'll second it. All in favor, Mr. Sutherland? Yes. Sam Bielka? Yes. David Cole? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item number 12, vote to accept or not accept resignation letter from Ms. Kitty Simons as of February 8th, uh, 2021. Uh, dear Ms. Matlock, Mr. Williams, and Board of Education, with a heavy heart, please accept this letter as my formal resignation from Henrietta Public Schools effective 2-8 of 2021. I have sincerely enjoyed and will forever cherish my time at HES. Working here has been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. I am forever grateful for all my co-workers and admins that have become family and will miss everyone dearly. In these uncertain times, I have made a choice for my family to go on a different career path, but I hope to still help out and be part of Henrietta Public Schools in any way I can. I wish nothing but the best for everyone here and will always have H be HES proud. Sincerely, Katie Simons, PS, you are all real life superheroes and deserve all the praise for the work you do in and out with the, school, with the children. Thank you very much. What was her title? She was a very, very good worker. Okay. I get a motion. I'll second it. All in favor, Misty Cheney, or Misty Sutherland, sorry, yes. Pam Bielka? Yes. David Bullock? Yes. Brady Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item number 12, vote to convene into executive session in accordance with 25 of the state section 307B1 to discuss the rehiring of the following position for the 2021 2022 school year. See the attached hire list, A, principal positions. Uh, B, Board of Education Central positions. Don't need to read them off now, or you want to read them off? I'll read them off and come back. Okay. Right. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. Okay. All in favor, Misty Sutherland? Yes. Pam Bielko? Yes. David Bullard? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. 6.45. Thank you. 
practicing social distancing and it will be in the auditorium so we will all be six feet apart but uh, we know that is a need and um, our uh, kids have been asking that we do this so we are going to host it um, we do have the ACT test that we will be able to give this year that is going to be given to juniors and seniors this year since we did not get Good. to give it to our juniors last year, so they will have the opportunity to take that test. Where will they take it out? Here at the high school. So it will be during the school day and we will be using our computer labs. Good. Good. Um, our law team uh, will be advancing to, I want to say semi-finals and if I'm wrong coach Turner will tell me tomorrow but this is our second year to compete uh, with our mock trial uh, they are doing fabulous for a, a, a new team uh, so next Wednesday when we get the ASVAB test those select students will be competing and they compete virtually which is okay. odd to see that you can accomplish that mm -hmm. uh, a, a virtual trial setting so uh, they will be competing and we are pleased with them so um, we didn't have a lot of kids at school today I'm hoping it gets better uh, but looking when I was on cafeteria duty looking across I would say probably and I never had time to look at the attendance but we were probably down 40 in the cafeteria today. So I'm hoping that it just was the just Bowl. the Super Bowl <laughs> and that it is not sickness and we'll have more at school tomorrow. So I'm going to quit talking. 
can't but see it's going, things. it's going well. Mm -hmm. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, at the elementary, um, we just finished benchmark testing uh, in January, just to kind of see where our kids are at. We have parent-teacher conferences so that parents could um, be made aware, you know, of um, maybe where, where this pandemic has affected their child. You know, our teachers and uh, our staff has done the very best that they can do as far as our conditions that we've uh, had this school year with the in and out and virtual and all of that. It's, it's just a lot harder on our littles than it is our middle school yeah. and high school kids, I think. Mm -hmm. That's just from my perspective. And so we were able to um, have those conversations with our parents um, just to keep them in the know on you know, we got our work cut out for us, and uh, we're going to take us all as a team working together to to help our kids along and help them not be behind. And um, so that's been that's been kind of a stress for me uh, this whole school year is just not wanting our kids to lose ground. And um, so you know, just trying to just trying to be honest with parents so that. Uh, you know, they, they understand, and some, some of our kids have, it, it hasn't affected them at all, you know, they've just kept right on trucking along, but mm -hmm. every kid's so unique and different, and it affects some kids more harshly than others, and then some kids have had, uh, you know, illness in their families and in their homes, and it has taken them out longer period of time than other kids, so um, it's it's been... A very interesting year to say the least <laughs> on trying to see that our kids have growth, uh, not just academically, but just the social emotional side of things. And there's just so many things that um, have been weighing on my heart, I guess you could say, with our kids and wanting what's best for them. But just proud of our teachers and our kids working hard every day when we are there and giving it their best. And um, it's been quite the roller coaster ride just with the staffing and things. Um, we had one week, I think, that we had nobody out with COVID quarantines or uh, mm -hmm. sickness, and we were scared to speak it because we didn't want to be <laughs> <laughs> um, But we had our attendance was, was a little bit higher than it, normal today as far as kids being out. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just kind of hoping that it's not a rise in sickness again, that it's yeah. uh, other factors coming into play. But we're going to keep on trucking along and do our best. Yeah, thank you very much. Anything to add, Roger? Well, I just try to add, you know, just how much support our support staff is so um, beneficial to the elementary school down there. They just, mm -hmm. anything we ask upon them and our teachers, mm -hmm. uh, everyone has always rose to the occasion. Um, it's been a really good year for our teachers just, you know, working with each other. So really appreciate them and the support Well, I staff. think it's been a year of building yeah, that. We couldn't, that, we that, couldn't yeah, do that. I mean, building it is. Yeah. Could, yeah. We could yeah. not make it without our support staff. Yeah. We got some really good workers. So, and I mean, personally, I uh, feel blessed to be working at Henry Public School. So thank you for uh, extending my contract. So, thank you very much. Thank you. I echo whatever the elementary and the high school said. I just want to commend the, the students, the staff, uh, certified, non-certified. It's been a crazy year and they've adapted well to change and uh, they continue to amaze me daily. And uh, we transition now from, as of tonight, from to spring sports. So mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes now. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> they still be outside. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Uh, each one of you. So, uh, item number twenty, athletic director's report. He's actually driving back from wrestling at Broken Arrow, so he's not here. Oh mm -hmm. gosh. Uh, item number twenty-one, maintenance director's report. <clears throat> he's not here. Okay. Superintendent's report. Um, one thing really I have to report is that we've been doing some webinars, getting ready to do our first uh, uh, draw on our COVID money. Right. Um, mm -hmm. we want to get that. We're going to try to get uh, two big draws before the school year is out. Um, first one maybe this week, next week. Um, yes. And, um, 
hopefully within the next two weeks. But we were too, um, it's really broad what we can spend the money on. Yeah, yeah, so. It wasn't limited from mm -hmm. what I could read it's from the not OSSBA. Not it was, so. yeah. We're going, to, we're going to try to use the money for expenses that we normally would have had to pay and use that money. So sure. we can use, so we'd save ours this year and well, we're going to do two big draws this year and then we're going to, well, we, just, we have until 23 uh, to spend it, so we're going to drag it out the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. That's going to be our game plan. Yeah. Drag it out. Might be a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, sure. uh, we never know what next year is going to bring. Mm -hmm. Nope. So Not that's why we're going, to, we're going to drag it out for as long as we can. We think we can do it for, well, in the year three before we run out. There you go. So all right. that's it, all I have. Thank you, Mr. Noble. I don't know, 23 new business. Mm -hmm. Out of number 24, board comments, we'll start with uh, Ms. Swing, or Ms. Sandy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have anything. Thank you. Ms. Bianca? Yes. Well, I just want to thank our principals and all the others on the rehire list for putting forth so much effort for our kids. I really do. And, I mean, we couldn't do it without such a great team. And I thank all of you. Thank you, Ms. Bianca. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bullard? I just want to echo what Pam said. Uh, we went back here and, and you know, made it, it was real easy to renew it. We <laughs> yeah. your contract, so we're, we're pretty proud of all of y'all. And we think you do a great job, especially with uh, the pandemic and everything. So to me, it was a real easy choice. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Brown? Um, yes, I too want to reiterate what they're saying uh, regarding the principles, but also, just to say that um, it's clear that outside of just being invested in our students and your staff, um, you all are invested in the future of this community and these kids, and uh, you work extra hard to make sure that they're taken care of at school and at home. So, you're very appreciated. Thank you, Ms. Brown. We can't forget our board office central Absolutely. staff. Absolutely. Ms. Tammy. Yes. Thank you so much. Tell the rest of them tomorrow. But uh, okay. we appreciate all them, the hard work they do too. To, uh, you guys work behind the scenes, keeping everything going. Keep everything so, running. Thank uh, you. We thank we you so much. You. We thank you. Uh, I don't know, 25. May I have a motion to adjourn? I'll move. I'll second. All in favor, Misty Sutherland? Yes. Tammy Yes. David yes. Bullard? Yes. Brown? Yes. James Williams? Yes. 728.